Hey there YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching my channel Ink and Iron, and I'm back today with a fountain pen new user video. This one's going to be about how to get started in fountain pens, once you get your first fountain pen, to get it writing in about five minutes. That's my goal. Um, if you are interested in pens, maybe you've tried something like a, you know, a Pilot G2 that's above and beyond, you know, your standard Bic disposable pen, and you're like, oh yeah, I like the writing experience, but you know, what's the deal with fountain pens? Uh, what are they about? Well, I'm going to recommend to you that you get yourself a Platinum Preppy. This thing's about five bucks, which is kind of a lot for a pen if you're not used to spending money on pens. But this is where I started, and my preference was Pilot G2s, as well as the Pilot Precise V7 and V5 pens. So coming from a nice rollerball to a fountain pen is pretty easy, and I'll show you how to get started writing with it right away. Um, I don't know how long the video will be total. I know I ramble at the end and make some recommendations above and beyond this particular pen, but I guarantee it'll be up and running in less than five minutes. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. Move these other pens out of the way so I can show you the Platinum Preppy that I bought from Jet Pens. It came just like this inside of a bubble mailer, and that was about it. So the first thing we're going to do is uncap it. Right here's the cap. This is the section, the nib, and inside of here is the feed. We're going to unscrew the section from the barrel and take out an ink cartridge, which is floating in there. So you can see this steel ball on the particular platinum style cartridge. We're going to press the steel ball into the section until it pops like that. And we can see ink moving into our section pretty rapidly. So we're going to set this down for a second. Talk about a few things while we let the ink charge up in here. Um, the ink moves from the cartridge to the tip of the nib, right, right here. The way it does that is there are very, very fine channels in here that through capillary action, which is the action of a fluid in a very um, tight space, like a tight tube, similar to like a capillary in the human body, um, there's no way to pump liquid through a space that small, but physics would have it that, you know, water-based fluid actually conducts itself through a very small opening like that. So yeah, we're exploiting physics to get the ink from the reservoir to the tip. Here's a shot of the nib. I went with the uh, blue because uh, it had a medium nib. This also comes in a fine and extra fine. These are made in Japan. They're only about five bucks. And I've always liked the internal faceting. The outside of this barrel is smooth, but the internal has these facets that kind of give a jeweled effect, even though you don't have to feel it. Um, pretty basic pen overall, black feed conducting the ink. And then we call this a folded style nib with uh, right here at the tip is, um, what do you call this stuff? Palladium, something like that? No, iridium, sorry. Palladium is a, a different thing. Iridium tipping. The tipping material is harder than the steel itself. That might sound strange, but paper is actually highly abrasive. So if you had just raw steel at the tip, you would wear down the nib just through normal use. And I'm just explaining these things, assuming that you're a complete newbie. If you know, you're know you experienced in fountain pens and this isn't grabbing you, check out my other videos. Let's take a look at the cap. Um, one thing I dislike about the Preppy is the plastic clip. These tend to break off after a while, especially if you use them um, you know, in a clipped position in a pocket, a purse, or you know, pants or something like that. One nice advantage of this cap is this spring-loaded internal plastic sleeve that actually fits over the nib. So you can see as I cap it, it pushes this whole assembly up and that makes it snug around the nib and prevent it from drying, drying out. And uh, this will help this pen to uncap and write right away uh, when you're using it. Okay, so it's been a minute or two. Let's go ahead and this is called posting the pen. When you put 
the cap on the barrel is known as posting. And we're going to take it just a regular writing grip here, which is a sort of triangular shape of the fingers. The um, index finger and the thumb oppose each other, and the pen rests on the middle finger. How you want to write with a fountain pen, you want this steel nib up, right? Not this way. We don't want to hold it this way. We want to hold it like this. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to write in just a standard fashion. And look at that. We wrote straight away. I always like to do some circles, some loops, just to make sure my ink is flowing. Now you have an opportunity to test your nib, so you can stroke down, stroke up, left, right, and then I like a little starburst pattern that'll help tell you any rough areas on your nib. But uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> As you can see, the Platinum Preppy is quite a reliable fountain pen, especially the $5 price point. It's got to be, if not the most popular, one of the most popular quintessential budget fountain pens. So you really can't go wrong starting here. If you end up not liking pens, you're not out a lot of money. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to highly recommend it. It is also where I started with fountain pens. I had a um, calligraphy pen that a friend got me as a gift, and I liked writing with that and drawing with it so much that I bought a preppy. And uh, that preppy has long since left us. Uh, it got <laughs> very cracked. The clip broke off, the barrel cracked, all kinds of weird stuff happened to it because um, this plastic isn't the most durable, but if you're careful and take good care of your stationery in general, you won't have a problem with the preppy. Okay, and then, um, you know, the quick brown fox, I guess, is something we have to write. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Stephen Brown for popularizing that one. Quick brown fox. It is hard to write and speak at the same time over the lazy... Oof, I need to practice my handwriting. Dog. You do not have to write in cursive with a fountain pen. Right? Cursive not required. You can write just a printed script. You don't have to do capitals. You know, you can do it. Do it how you like. And that is one nice thing about writing by hand. You don't have to choose a font. You make it up as you go. Okay. So, I think we did that in uh, under five minutes, no problem. So, um, not all pens, starter pens, are going to be this easy, and that is why I'm recommending the Platinum Preppy to you, because you just saw me do it on camera. It's really that simple. And um, this is, I forgot to mention the, the paper type here, just a Topps standard notebook. I bought it from a grocery store forever ago. You don't need good paper for a fountain pen. Um, here's some, this is copy paper. You can see it works fine. Um, one thing I would recommend, if you do end up liking the pens, go ahead and get yourself a Rhodia dot pad. Okay, and I say the dot pad because you can tear these sheets out. They are individual. The cover folds up nicely in this compact form. And this is like sort of the bare minimum of actually good paper. Uh, this is, I want to say, 80 grams per square meter, um, but this is really excellent. And the dot grid will help you, you know, if you're using this for sketching or making plans or journaling, bullet journaling, uh, the dot grid is super, super popular. I myself prefer a blank style paper, but that's just me. Uh, Rhodia also makes blank and lined paper. Um, and regular grid style. So, yeah, whatever you like. Um, recommend Rhodia. As a starting point, there are, of course, there's a whole rabbit hole of, of paper and pens and inks, and you'll get there. But if you're just starting out, Platinum Preppy, Rhodia Dot Pad, can't really go wrong. Okay, that's it. I won't take up any more of your time. I've been Joe. You've been watching my channel, Ink and Iron for more fountain pen content, as well as I do 
other pen stuff, multi-tool stuff. Uh, I do knife stuff and uh, typewriter stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, check out the rest of my vlog and uh, do the things to show support. All right. I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron. Thanks for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye.